it gets into lakes, either from the atmosphere or from point sources of pollution, and from there it accumulates in the plants and animals that live in the lake. Since fish are at the top of the aquatic food web, they accumulate the most mercury, and if the concentrations are high enough, then the fish can be unsafe to eat. A large portion of the world's population relies on fish as their main source of protein, so mercury pollution is really a global problem. Yeah, the research at ISD ELA helps scientists and governments better understand how mercury accumulates in fish and how long it takes for those concentrations to decrease after the pollution has stopped. And at the Experimental Lakes area, our lakes and fish populations are pretty small. Uh, so we needed a method of measuring mercury concentrations without killing the fish. So we developed this non-lethal biopsy method um, so that we could track mercury concentrations in individual fish over many years. And we found this to be a really great alternative to the lethal sampling that you often see in mercury accumulation studies. And this has really helped us to understand how fish mercury concentrations change over time.